All right, guys. So today, I'm gonna be looking at uh, some Timu detailing items. I just want to say that you know I don't know how long this stuff is gonna take to deliver, so this might be a really long time in the future. It's currently 5:12, so we'll see. I just wanted to see if it was possible for me to actually even you know detail a car with stuff from Timu. And it looks like it's definitely possible. We got a, quite a few options to choose from in terms of things to get. And I'm already really liking some of the options I'm seeing. So, so I'm kind of excited because uh, I think, you know, you might actually be able to, be able to get some good detailing stuff and um, might be more affordable. It might not be. Some of these prices do look pretty comparable to what you see currently in the market. Hey, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to show you guys what I'm buying in advance. We'll do that once we actually get to it. So uh, this is just, you know the precursor. So I'm going to be buying stuff. I'm going to limit myself to a budget of, let's say, um, I don't know what's a good budget. I'll go from anywhere from 50 to a hundred dollars and we can kind of see where that gets us. And I'm not going to just be buying stuff that I already have because that would be kind of boring, but I will buy maybe one or two things. I just want to really focus on the basics and then maybe having a couple of things that I wouldn't have normally thought to buy. So that's kind of where I'm going with all this. Uh, yeah, so this is the initial uh, we'll see how how everything turns out soon. So I'm kind of excited for this, guys. So stay tuned. Ugh. Woo! As you guys know, I went to Timu. I spent about $115 on a bunch of different things. Uh, I kind of wanted to try and see um, kind of like the depth of what kind of detailing products you can get on there. And also, we're going to try them out and see what works and what doesn't. So uh, let's just get unpacking. It's been about a month maybe. I don't remember when I recorded the first segment. I got the stuff maybe like a week ago or two. I've just been out of town on vacation. So, you know, uh, getting motivated is a little bit difficult, but uh, I gotta do this. So I'm good thing I had all this stuff ready. Otherwise I'd be kind of like, what the heck? So I don't really remember any of the stuff I got. So far the packaging's a little rough. Like all this stuff's like dented. <laughs> <laughs> what even is this? It's got scratch removal cream. Uh, I don't think it can remove this scratch that I got on this packaging though. So this stuff is just going to be really, really fun to just see how crappy it is. All right. So just got a little piece of paper. What is this? Oh yeah. This seems kind of interesting. I got this magic foam car wash stuff. It looks like it's enough for maybe one car wash. So, and then I got <laughs> one of those polishing pads that I was talking about. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how this one goes. Um, I can probably just try it on on my exhaust. I got a lot of random stuff, so this might take a while. Also got a clay bar, which it feels really soft in here, so probably not gonna be that great. This is gonna be a, like a bucket caddy. Let's see. This thing was like 35 bucks or something. Seems pretty basic. I mean, just got some wing nuts and some wheels. This is five wheel action. Like pushing with maximum effort. Jeez Louise, what were they thinking with this? I don't know what I'm doing. Last stuff, let's see what else we got here. And guys, also the point of kind of like doing this Timo thing is to just see if you can buy cheaper detailing equipment that's still high quality. This is supposed to be like the Eagle 500s. They're a little larger and a little crappier feeling already. I hope there's some good things in here, but I really don't have much faith. I gotta take a shower after opening all this stuff. I got a spray bottle, which honestly this looks pretty good. Oh yeah, I got this sick like detailing thing. I don't remember what it's called. Wouldn't really recommend getting this, but I thought it'd be kind of fun. I mean, it feels pretty good. I don't remember how much it was. It was like 16 bucks. Not really sure what the hell's going on with it though. Uh, what? Huh? Okay. There must be more because this thing was like 70 feet long in the picture. Well, in the picture, this thing looked like it was 90 feet long. So what the heck's going on? Ah, there we go. What the hell is this? Huh? I'm getting really confused. What is this? Oh, some tape on it. <laughs> what? Wow. All right, not really sure what that was about. Oh, here we go. These are like the scrub ninja like things. 
they don't really feel like probably what a scrub ninja is like. They're kind of just like microfiber pads. I don't know. Detailing some style, you know? Was, uh... Looks pretty sick though, right? Anyway, this looks like it might be the drying towel. I got this like 20 foot by 10 foot drying towel. That's gonna be insane. Wow, this is doing nothing, hopefully. This thing does not look that good for drying anything though. Look at this bad boy. English or Spanish? This is kind of gonna be a pathetic drying towel. I have a feeling I'm probably gonna throw away most of this stuff. This might be the only thing I don't throw away, which is just these, you know, microfiber towels that are just, you know, pretty standard. Wow, these are huge, what the? I mean, these feel all right. I don't know, I'm always a little skeptical of getting cheap stuff because it's usually not gonna be that great. Got some busted up. Uh. Oh, yeah, this was supposed to be like for gels and stuff. So like I can put some gel on here and rub it around the wheel. I don't know, might have to uh, take a second and uh, go and see, make sure I got everything real quick. Let me open up this scratch removal cream. I was hoping we could remove the big scratch from the front of my car, but you know, I'm kind of hoping it doesn't work because I got some stuff for a future video coming that'll hopefully be able to take care of it. Whoa, this smells weird. Ugh. I'm gonna assemble the caddy properly. You see this? It's gonna do pretty good work. I don't even know what I'm gonna try this with. Maybe like some paint protectant or something. But it seems to hold a lot. It smells like China. Like it's the first time opening it. I've never been to China, by the way. Okay, I feel like this thing is reverse threaded, but maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. This just feels like opposite. This thing's saying it holds like two liters, which is pretty good. I think that's about the same as my other one. I'm just gonna clean all this up and we'll I'll get set up to just, I guess, try out these different things and probably just mess up my car a little more, you know? I've already been doing that anyways. <sighs> well, I've been trying to sit all this stuff up. I like clocked my head four times and hit my knee on a few tables. So knocked a bunch of stuff over. Just really having a great time trying to do this. <laughs> I don't really want to ruin my one bucket using wing nuts, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I can't really tell if it's level, but we're gonna have to deal with it. Right off the bat, I'm noticing these microfiber towels, especially these woolly ones, they don't really feel like microfiber towels. They kind of just feel a little different. The edges are also like kind of defined, like you can feel the edges on the edgeless microfibers, which I guess it's just probably how they cut it. But you know, with the really nice rag company ones, you can't feel the edge at all. Man, this is all like, just feeling like complete junk. Really uh, not too excited about using all this stuff as I was when I bought it. 115 bucks, so that's pretty cheap. We'll have to see if it's worth it too. I think that's more of what matters. Could just be my perception of Timu affecting what I'm feeling right now. So you guys know I always gotta bring you on the bucket fill up mission. You know, right away, I'm not knowing if I'm liking this bucket thing because it's kind of sharp on the bottom. So when you're carrying it around, it kind of digs into your legs. Not very in in exciting, like, to be honest, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> Seems to roll fine though. You gotta get the foam cannon loaded and stuff, so be back doing that. So I think I got everything ready for the wash. Uh, I haven't washed my car in a few weeks. It's been sitting in a garage, an apartment, or an airport, whatever. So it's kind of just like really dusty and kind of gross looking. So for the phase one, of Timu items. It's basically just a car foam that you dilute one to 10 or one to 20. And I got it 100 milliliters to 400 milliliters of water, which you might be like, that's not one to 20 or one to 10 or whatever. But after it mixes with the water to get out, shot out the cannon, it'll be uh, just about one to 10. Cause uh, my foam cannon is like about a half, half mixture. So I'm not sure if this stuff's supposed to be colored or not, but it is pretty, pink like beet juice you know i don't know if it'll clean like beet juice but uh and i haven't done this in a week i'm out of touch got the bucket on the caddy for the hand wash go around funzy zone and uh we'll hit it with the mega towel just also gonna use these eagle 500s or whatever they, whatever these are i'm gonna grab like a real one and kind of see how it compares these do have an edge which is kind of irritating because they basically look like they don't have an edge but they do where the eagles don't so I was kind of really hoping they wouldn't have an edge, but they do. I'm just kind of compare the feeling and stuff like that. I mean, I can't really do like a super in-depth analysis. I don't have like a microscope, but I'll try my best. It's going to take a while. I'm, I bought a crap ton of stuff. This caddy's kind of nice, I got to say, though. 
because uh, you know you just carry the bucket like normal. Like, ma'am, what'd you guys think of that poster, by the way? I thought it was kind of cool. A little bit of memorabilia from Timu. So I got this all loaded up. A little nervous, but let's just do it. Realistically, you could probably get two watches out of this. It smells pretty good. It's not like great though. Man, I am out of touch with this. I'm, like bumbling around like an idiot, feels like. I mean, this is kind of cool, you know, a nice little pink kind of strawberry, somewhat strawberry smelling foam. I hope this stuff doesn't stain my clothing. I get all over. Probably should have worn some actual shoes for this, huh? And my bucket caddy's like got a bunch of pink all over it now. So we're just gonna let it sit for a little bit, you know, do its thing like always. I'm just gonna rinse it. One thing I am noticing is this is very thick foam. Not sure if it's because I diluted it pretty lightly. You know, it seems like a pretty normal foam. The only thing is I don't love the smell as much as like I would an Adam's colored foam. Those things smell great. These smell like kind of light, like a light strawberry, but it was pretty cheap. Although it was only one wash. This is how much it cost for the one, whereas this is how much it cost for Adam's one wash. So I think it's definitely cheaper to get this stuff, but it's not quite as smelly -aler. Kind of a nice day to do this, you know, it's not too sunny or anything. I was hoping to get car soap too, but I didn't think it'd be worth it. I feel like I'm going really slow, you know, I'm gone for one week and all of a sudden I'm out of practice. I have no clue what I'm doing anymore. This car wash kind of reminds me of something though. Ah, oh, quite romantic, don't you think? That was the cringiest video I think I ever made. Not bad. Looks like a pretty normal foam result, I would say. Not that my car was like really extremely dirty, but you know, it was dirty. Did something. Um, so now let me grab one of these eagles here. Keep calling them eagles, probably being defamatory. We can kind of compare the feeling and performance and all that. Um, I mean, this feels pretty normal. Feels maybe a little bit lighter and uh, juicier, I guess. I don't, I don't know, which I don't, I don't know if that's a good thing. Let me try the other one. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's a pretty big difference in feeling. You know, the no edges is pretty big, like in terms of how it feels to use the rig, which might sound really like pompous and arrogant when you're detailing you want nice stuff because you want to do a nice job too. This one feels very solid. This one just feels like lightweight. I don't know, it feels like cheaper. I think the lightweight makes it feel kind of like cheaper, I guess. If it's not as good, it's not as good. If you're okay with that and you want to save some money, then this could be an option for you. But for me, since you know, you're only detailing cards and you want to have a nice result, you want nice tools and products that'll be consistent in how they work. I feel like I'm going to the most random areas of the car and I'm missing a ton of stuff. Ugh, a bunch of water in my mouth. It's not sunny, but it's very warm. It smells kind of funny out too. So I didn't really use the rolling caddy too much. Probably never will. But uh, let's give this thing the wash down now. Alright. So now we're gonna get to the drying. Thinking this is gonna do nothing. But I got this freaking woman sized towel. I guess we'll just go for it. Okay, yeah. Wow, this is doing nothing. Okay, well, this was a complete waste of money. There's tons of water left on the surface because this isn't going to cut it. Like if I show you guys close up after rubbing it down, you can see there's still tons of water left on the surface. Like it's not even a joke. What a hunk of crap. Going back to the good old 
liquid day tow. This thing knows how to dry. And it's also not unwieldy large. So definitely don't get a drying towel on Timu. And given how the fat ones that are supposed to be like the Eagle felt, the edgeless like 500 GSM microfibers, I'm willing to bet those won't last very long after you wash them a few times, just because they do feel very light. And I'm pretty sure it's not microfiber, which is kind of bad because it won't really pick up much dirt. But we will try it out on some interior surfaces. And the foam did a fine job. No problem with that. Kind of hard to tell if it didn't do a good, a good job though, because you know, it's really just foam. Seem to get enough dirt off of there where I'm okay with it. I just don't know how well it works with things like ceramic coatings and stuff like that. If it would strip it or not, and because there's not very much information on a lot of these detailing products you buy on the Timu. I don't know who upvotes most of that stuff, but they don't really know what they're talking about because these items all have a ton of like ratings on them. Because since people get, people get some kind of discount if they do that, it seems kind of like scamish to me. What the, why is there a bug in my car? Get out of there, who said you could chill there, man? Tch, ridiculous. So drying towel was so far the worst product. <coughs> I need water. Oh, I feel so much better. So that's all wash. Oh, I didn't even use this bad boy. I mean, you can just imagine me cleaning the car with it, right? I don't know, it's all right. I mean, this feels pretty nice, honestly. I kind of like this. I don't think I'll use it because it seems like Scratch City with all the edges on it and stuff. You know, you don't have to like move very much when you're scrubbing down your car. So there, if there's a way you could like get a 500 easily on this thing, you know, you could kind of just have fun with that. I don't know, not bad, honestly. Didn't really give it the proper test, but I think you guys can imagine kind of the results you get with it. Wow, I'm sweating like crazy right now. I guess next let's try out the tire gel stuff. Actually scratch that. Next thing I'm gonna try out is the scratch removal cream. So let's see what it looks like. Give me a couple minutes. Are you serious? Oh, frick. Oh, what the hell? Dude. Ah, uh, this just looks like a really crappy polish. Okay, this looks like mayonnaise or frosting. Kind of looks delicious. I might take a bite. It smells fine. So they give you like this really dog shiz microfiber and a really dog shiz sponge. So it kind of checks out. Man, why am I sweating so hard right now? So I'm gonna take this clay bar and just clean up the scratch. I was just in Florida, you wouldn't think it by how much I'm sweating. All right. So I got the scratch down here. This is long story short, it looks about the same for the polish remover or scratch remover. Just wanted to try a different area as well. Um, one that might be a little bit more doable. You know, if it was this easy to remove scratches, everybody would, everybody would be doing it. A couple of little scratches on the hood. Just gonna throw a little bit on. Yeah, that doesn't look like it does anything. My guess is this is just like a very light polish. I don't know, I'm getting rid of this. Yeah, what a hunk of shiz. This is depressing. Seriously. Clay bar, usable, but not very good. We still got this scrub ninja here. I have no faith in this thing. This feels like a microfiber towel. Kind of pathetic. So, so far we only really have two things you can get on Timo, and that's gonna be Either car foam, you know, which I wouldn't really recommend to be honest, but you could get it there. And then maybe some microfiber towels. I don't know. I really don't want to do this tire job right now, but we're doing it. And this is pathetic. I'm serious. Never doing this again. So pretty small little thing to work with here. Um, actually, you know, I kind of like this. It's applying it very well. I like this. All right, I like something. Don't need a whole lot either. I feel like when I'm using the pads, I need a ton. It's very easy to control. Is it the highest quality one? Probably not, but it is one that I own. You can get very close to the ground, great thing. You go near the ground and you just can't quite get there. That always sucks. All right, first thing to show some promise, the uh, little gel distributor. I mean, it's hard to mess that up though. Woohoo! I'm just gonna go and do my other wheels. Here, I guess you guys can watch. Would I necessarily recommend buying this specific thing from Timu? Um, maybe not this one. You'd probably go somewhere else and get a better one. But if you have to, it's not a bad choice. I don't really like having like tire gel too much to be honest, cause it's kind of shiny. I like more matte finish. So I'll probably get a different product next time. I'm just happy we at least found one product. You know, I wasted maybe 107 bucks now. All right. There we go. 
So I got you guys on the familiar view. Boss tips clean and exhaust tips. You can see I've used the car a little bit since then. Not too much though. Just gonna see if I can throw some polish on this pad and get it clean again, I guess. I don't know why I got this thing, but I just wanted to get a bunch of random stuff and try it out. Wow, there's like freaking chalk or something from that pink uh, car wash. Never seen something like that before. So I'm using a pretty decent amount of polish too. It's not bad. Definitely would recommend wearing some goggles though. This is just depressing. There's only been like maybe two things I've been kind of happy about buying so far. It's better than when I did it last time by hand, that's for sure. You know, I will call that a, a bit of a W. This is a lot faster than doing it by hand too. So you can always get the steel wool and just go hammer, just get a nice tough polishing pad like this. Surprised this thing isn't falling apart already. You know, I don't know. This is pretty good. Well, I use this on someone else's car, probably not, but you know, for mine, it's kind of scratched it up a little bit last time, but it still looks good. You know, the steel wool is really just a last resort. These things were really quite dirty. Like you can really see how bad it was because of all the little corrosion, all the corrosion going on. Won't last much longer. It's already getting shredded up. Maybe it would last me like two more uses. Um, not sure if they usually are that wimpy, but uh, maybe you just got to get one that's a little tougher. So this seems like it's going to be a little annoying trying to dump this. Let's see though. Ah, holy, holy crap. That's, whew. holy moly. I'm done. Basically now we're just gonna try the pump sprayer out. Finally getting to the end of the line. I feel like I've been doing this all day. Whoo so just got this pump sprayer. Feels pretty cheap. It's kind of odd. It feels like it's pressurizing when I pull up rather than down. So totally opposite. Like you gotta put the head on the opposite way too. All right, let's just give it a shot. Oh, it shoots out like crazy. Wow, uh, okay. Kind of like how uh, that spray pattern is. It's very light, but honestly, it's not gonna do very well in the wind. The IK1 already doesn't do very well in the wind and it's way more concentrated than this. Whatever, I'm just gonna grab a normal towel. I can't take this crap anymore. Oh, it feels good to hold an eagle in the hands compared to that crap. I mean, who knew the, the Timu detail would be so freaking infuriating? Ah. I mean, this pump spray is a piece of junk for real. Kind of like splatters and not very consistent. You know, it's not that big a deal, the inconsistent spraying, but it's just more annoying if anything. Consistency is the last thing you should expect from Timu. Ah, ah. Okay, probably scaring my neighbors. Should probably chill out a little. Don't want the cops getting called on me again. I already had them once. You know, this is the first Eagle towel that is starting to feel like it's actually losing quality and I've used it for a year now. So I have to give like an in good faith kind of summary of all this stuff because I don't want to just dismiss everything, but also I don't want to be recommending stuff that I can't recommend in good faith. So the spirit bottle's all right, but there's way better stuff out there. <laughs> Guess we got some interior stuff. I don't even really feel like trying this out. This is, I already know this is gonna be a piece of junk. Like I can just feel it. The point of the Scrub Ninja is it's kind of like a grippy feeling on the top here, but this doesn't feel like that at all, unfortunately. So it's probably just a normal microfiber. So like I said, I feel like I'm, I've kind of just given up on this stuff at this point, but I will give it the fair trial it deserves. Both the bedazzled brush and the scrub cringer. Frick, it's hot in here. Like this thing's just like flaking like crazy. Like, there's tons of fur falling off. So I know as immediately that when you use this side, you're gonna get a bunch of fur and fuzz all over everything. So that's already kind of irritating. This brush is like extremely light. Like it feels like I'm not doing anything. Like I'd only de-dust with this thing. And it's like at that point, I'll just use a microfiber. But for the sake of all that's equal and fair for standing up for all of those who might have not had a chance i will give all three of these the microfiber the ninja crub and the guacamole bejeweled all a chance right here right now starting off strong um i guess i'll just 
do the wipage with the microfiber. So far, these microfibers, I actually kind of like these light ones. They very, feel very similar to the ones the Rag Company has. There is a slight edge, but because the microfiber is so thin, it doesn't really bother me too much because it feels almost the same as the microfiber itself. Feels like it's heat pressed or something like that, and so it sears the edge a little bit. Just gonna keep working around. I really don't wanna do all the interior right now, so I'm just gonna do a, just a bit. We'll try the scrub ninja on this. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what the point of this thing is. This is just literally a microfiber towel. I'm not gonna play games. I don't really feel like doing that while I'm detailing cars, to be honest. I feel like just getting it clean, not goofing around, nothing like that. I mean, did it clean? Yes, but is it necessary? Not really. <laughs> it doesn't really feel like it scrubs any different than a microfiber either. Last one we got is this. I would really, only think this would be good for a little bit of de dusting, maybe hitting some air vents. Look at how clean this air vent's gonna look. And look at how shiny this thing is. This thing's just such a waste of my life. All right, well, I give them the fair chance. Let's get to the deductions table. We have the bucket caddy, this pump splatterer, microfiber squeegee, the clay bar slash scratch remover, uh, scrub ninja, microfiber towels, and then the light microfiber towels, the bejeweled scrubber, the ball tip thing that I can't find, and then also whatever else. Anyway, like genuinely, is there any products that I would go to Timu to buy? Because maybe I could save a couple dollars, right? And that would be a good thing for you guys as well. You know, money's uh, a little tight right now with the inflation and all that. Generally, you're generally you're not going to get very good stuff on Timu, <laughs> which is kind of expected. I mean, it's a place where you buy junk, basically. So, like, if I just, like, go over each thing, I didn't really use this tool, but I know for a fact that you're going to have a very easy time scratching your car with this. Just one, there's, like, all the edges around it, even though it's padded. You know, it still can just smash stuff into your car. And then two, it's a lot harder to tell if there's dirt on this stuff, on this that's gonna scratch your car. I guess I could dunk it in the bucket like a normal thing, but you do see them use that like car dealers and stuff perhaps, but car dealers don't really do things a good way. They do things a fast way, and this is fast. So if you're looking for something to make your car wash maybe a little easier, maybe you're really old or something, and you have a hard time, you know, standing up or bending over, I mean, then this could actually be a good tool for you because you can get to the top of the car pretty easily. You also get over the hood and uh, really any of those maybe more precarious angles for you. That's the only time I'd really recommend something like this, but if you're agile or don't have back problems, then you know stick with the normal one bucket wash method. Just get some nice micros and just go ham with it. Paint scratch remover and clay bar, uh, you know, this isn't the right consistency for a clay bar. It's way too mushy, so like you, you just work through the clay it does pick up decontaminants, but the clay itself isn't the right consistency for clay barring really well. Maybe if you're in a colder environment, it'll hold up a little better. But I just noticed my finger like worked through the clay bar in like 10 seconds. And usually with the microwire stuff I've used, uh, you're not pushing your finger through that basically ever, no matter how much pressure you apply. So the clay is usable, but not good. That's a good thing I only got one bar of that. The scrub ninjas, just get the scrub ninja. This is like a hunk of sh I know I'm swearing, but like all these feathers are just falling out. And as soon as you get them wet, they'll probably just fall out even more. And on the other side, it's supposed to be like an agitation side. So it's supposed to be kind of like, you know, you have a sponge on one side and then a scrubber on the other, but uh, you don't really get that. You kind of just get a piece of Yeti fur that does nothing on one side and then some crappy towel that does nothing. These towels, you know, let me grab the ones I have from the rag company real quick. If I were to compare, Holy shoes, what is that? Oh my God, this is like the fattest freaking. Dude, look at this thing. Can you guys see that? What is that? That's like a bumblebee or something. It's like Goliath, the bumblebee. Yeah, so the Ray Company does seem to have a bit of a different process for how they actually make the towels. But honestly, they're so freaking similar that it, it might be a good idea if, to get these. Like if I'm looking at these, the, the ones the Ray Company has seems to be a little bit lower GSM, so they're a little more spaced. There feels like there's some static to the fibers, which is exactly what you want in a microfiber towel. And you know, if I compared these two, there's a definite difference in the edge between these two. The Eagle 500 is just so much smoother and the fur itself just feels so much better. This just feels kind of light and sort of cheap. And you could probably get these as well and be fine. But I just think the Eagle 500 just feels so good in the hands. Yeah, the pump sprayer was a little rough around the edge, 
like it can get the job done, but um, I have a feeling compared to something like an IK sprayer, which I love those things. And by the way, they've been releasing all these 360 spray heads all of a sudden. I like released a video about it, like being like, yo, can you guys do that like a year ago? Just wish that they, the spray head was a little bit better and had that, you know, 360 tech in it so I could spray from all angles. If it had that, then this spray bottle couldn't be beat. And now they're putting them out, so that's kind of hype. So I might have to get those. I don't have to get them, but I might grab one or two of them just for some of those like jobs that I don't like, like carpet cleaning. You definitely need a 360 spread for that because you, you use so much carpet cleaner usually that you need to use the whole can. I think that's kind of cool. I don't think I had a voice in it at all, but you know that I just mentioned and then like a year later, they just come out with it. Kind of hype sauce. Not like only 17 people saw it and IK was probably the 17th. Nah, there's no way. IK? Nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I mean, you could get these bedazzled jewel brushes and stuff, but kind of like the Ninja Scrub Monkey or the Monkey Scrub Ninja. I don't know why I'm saying Monkey. This is Scrub Ninja. It's just not very useful, um, but it does look cool. So I might hold on to that. I don't know. I feel like I just blew 115 for nothing. This kind of sucks. Low key in depression. Um, what else? Uh, the Caddy. Um, this is nice. It, oh, shoot. Okay, I got to tighten that up a little bit. It's nice if you have a good setup for it. I know it's basically probably not gonna fit in my car. I don't think I'll be able to really use it. Let me see how it kind of holds any of these spray bottles. I mean, that holds pretty fine. Might be nice for like cleaning wheels, but I use a foam sprayer and those won't fit in there. But uh, if you have a lot of like spray bottles you wanna carry around, it could be nice. I personally don't have a lot of spray bottles to carry around, so actually I kind of do. So this could be a good uh, addition to what I'm doing. Can't really put any brushes in there now the pockets are deep enough. So I think there's one right here where I could put a brush. But, you know, you can fit, it looks to me like two, th whoa, you could fit two 32 ounce spray bottles, I mean, and two 16 ounce spray out bottles, and then like a couple of thin uh, thingies. Not sure what you'd put in here, maybe some sponges or something. This definitely does have a use, just not one I really find that valuable. Uh, so yeah, the paint, paint scrap remover, paint scratch remover, can't talk, it's way too warm. The paint scratch remover really wasn't doing anything. Whoa, my scratches are gone. Did you believe me? Because it was all a lie. There's no way that stuff actually worked. Like, come on. If anything, that's the, that, well, if anything, what that probably is, it's, it's probably all just like a very light polish. And the idea is you kind of just hand polish it. So yeah, that's kind of all the Timu stuff. Like there are some things you can get. If I were to recommend anything to get, it'd be the, the normal microfiber towels. I think you can definitely, have some six, have good success with these. It's not like microfiber towels, like these are too important because you're just really using them for things like carpet or cleaning seats or doing very like minimal tests where you're basically not gonna scratch anything. You just want a towel to absorb some liquid and move some dirt. So it's not really that pivotal of an item. So you can save money there for sure. So I'll probably actually keep these towels even though I've already have a million freaking towels. Yeah, I was already at the convention, so. Picked up a bunch there. The Eagle 500 ones, I'm not as much a fan of just cause you can feel the edge a lot more. I'd rather just get a Eagle 500 from the right company. <coughs> and yeah, the foaming car wash, you could definitely get that. It feels like might not be a good formula. It does have the ingredients on there and everything, but come on, this polo sucks. Never buying cheap polos again. Um, so the Ray company one, I don't even know what I was saying. This freaking pull it distracted me. Oh yeah, the foaming car wash could definitely work if you want like a nice cheaper colored car wash. Compared to the Adams, it was a lot cheaper to buy that. But I mean, at the end of the day, it really comes down to like, you know, what's the level of quality you're looking for and how often are you gonna use these things? Like if you're really only using most of these products once, like you don't really need to get super nice ones or anything. So Timo could definitely be a good idea for those of you who maybe don't detail that often or don't really care that much. But for most of us people who are more hardcore detailers, parts of the one bucket army, I mean, you know, we want something that's gonna last a while, do a good job and give good results. <sighs> Dude, I can't stand these freaking pressure washing hoses sometimes. Look, you just want something that's nice quality and a good price that'll last you a while. Because if there's one thing I don't like about detailing, it's shopping for more detailing stuff. It's kind of annoying. Way too much out there. So I know this was probably a bit of a longer one, 
but um, I think there was some value definitely in looking at Timu as an option for buying some of your products. Probably gonna get rid of most of this stuff. Um, some of it I'll probably keep though, for sure. Whoa, whoa, oh shoot. Thing's pretty sturdy. Didn't even dent. Did not mean to drop that, like genuinely. So yeah, I'm gonna take some time to clean up. Yeah, do yourself a favor and avoid Timu unless you're getting crappy microfiber towels. Or if you're getting a nice Squidward poster for your collection, that could be another good option for you. I love you guys.